Hey there, this is our new tutorial series for landscape materials. Uh, well, we heard that you want some landscape materials, some tutorials, and we will make a series of this to create a really nice landscape, landscape materials. So this is the first video and we will go through the basics here. We will use this landscape as an example. Uh, this is the one we created using the Unreal Modeling uh, landscape procedural tools that you can see here. For example, if I want to move this mountain, I can do something like this. Or I can just move the spline here to create something new, very easy. If you are interested in creating procedural terrain, check out the video in the description. I put it in the description below. But this tutorial series will be about materials. So let's get started. So we're going to create a new folder. Let's, let's just create it. Material landscape material series. Or better yet, let's just put it in the test folder. Let's just remove this one. Delete. Let's just put it in the test and we will create our new folder here, which is landscape material series. And there it is. And here we will start creating our material. So this will be our M landscape master. And this will be our master material for the landscape. So let's click on this one and this is a we will start from the very beginning and then we will go to basic steps. So let's start with the basics. Um, landscape material uh, may be a little bit different from what you have worked before. If you use materials before uh, you will get used to all these nodes but the landscape materials are using special nodes because they are connected to the landscape tool here. If you see here in the landscape, if I go to the paint tab, you will see I have a layers. And these layers are essentially what my landscape is composed of. So I can have grass, I can have rocks, I can have a lot of things to paint here. But not only that, you also have the ability to texture this, not based on layers, but just based on a, any kind of instruction you put in the materials. Let's say you want to paint puddles, you want to do something different. You can also put it in the material. So we're going to focus on that. And we will create these layers. And you will see that how we do it is inside the material. So, normally how you create a material here is that you will plug the base color and the albedo map and all the necessary textures here. So, let's grab something. I have some textures here from my mega scans. Let's put some go to surfaces and let's just try to look for material instance. So, we can have this one's layer rock, mossy ground, stone wall, all of this. All right, so let's start with maybe, maybe this too. So we're gonna grab our this mm, texture here, the green one, and we will grab all the textures that come with the landscape. And the first thing we need to do is let's keep adding more textures. Let's just say you want to add more and you want to add more. And you want to keep adding more textures here. And then you have a problem. Let's just hit apply. You notice that 
I have only 16 and right now I have one two three and four materials and this is not enough for a landscape sometimes we want five or six materials or seven so the first thing we're gonna do is delete all those I will keep my original texture here and what I'm gonna do is select all of these textures and right here in the left you can see the details here I'm gonna choose here from the sampler source and change it to wrap and what this will do it will allow me to have more texture samplers in my material so the first thing we're gonna do is to connect these materials here so how we do that very easy let's just say you want to create your material the first thing we need to do is to create a landscape layer blend all right and this will be our blending for our landscape and what you have here is your layers and what these layers are these are the same layers that are here when painting so make sure when you create your layer create an appropriate name so maybe these textures change in the beginning so I'm gonna just call it grass zero one and that's it and I'm gonna just plug this one here and this will be our albedo map so we will connect this one to the base color and you notice that it's black here and one thing you need to do is to add texture coordinates and then you can use landscape texture coordinates here texture coordinates landscape landscape layer coordinates you can use either one of those let's just try this one for now and what we will do is apply all right so we have our material here let's go to our landscape and what we will do here is go to my select mode click on the landscape and here in my properties you will see that I have a landscape material so what I will do is to go to my landscape material series I will right click and create a material instance and I will call it MI landscape base and what I will do here you can see I have my landscape here and what I will do is to click here on the landscape material just click on this one and you will see that nothing has happened and let's change our lining okay so you can see that my landscape is black now and I have all this specularity here but what happened because we put our albedo map here we create our layer and we put it in the base color we should be able to see our texture however this is not the last step what we need to do here is go to our modes in landscape and if we go to painting here make sure you assign if you're using the layers make sure you click on the layers you want to create and you see I have my layers here it is here it is it re it recognizes the layer however we need to create an asset a layer info and it will go here landscape gym share assets any folder is fine as long as you can find it later click OK and what you will have is you have your texture here applied in the landscape now what you can do because sometimes all this you can see my, that my landscape is divided into different sections and components and each component has like its own properties let's just say and here in painting you can start painting I don't need to do that now because I have all my landscape is using the texture and what I can do is right click fill layer and what it will do is to have 
all these components that we have here and it will have the information of the grass layer. So, this is the this is what we want to show first at the beginning. We will go into way more advanced stuff where we will create materials and a lot of things, but for now these are the basics of the landscape. So, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, let us know in the comments which kind of video you want to watch and we make make a video about it if you have any trouble in your game or your game project let us know and maybe we can help you so i'll see you in the next one